All right, what is up, you friggin' geniuses? Today, I'm gonna teach you what the different types of fractions are. Okay, so we're gonna start, first of all, with proper fractions. So what's a proper fraction? All right, so this is kind of the easiest, most straightforward fraction, okay? So remember, for a fraction, we have a top number and a bottom number. The top number, right, the top, that's called the numerator, and the bottom number, is called the denominator. I'm just abbreviating here. Okay, so a proper fraction is when the top is smaller, smaller than the bottom, than the bottom. Okay, another way of saying this is the top is less than the bottom or the numerator is less than the denominator. Okay, so a few examples of proper fractions would be one over two, four over seven, three over 10, 20 over 50, okay? So as you can see, in all these examples, the top number is smaller than the bottom number. Okay, so those are proper fractions. Okay, and the other kind that we have are called improper fractions. Improper. Okay, so these are literally gonna be the exact opposite of proper fractions. Okay, so again, we have a numerator on top, a denominator on bottom, it's just a number over a number. Okay, but in this case, the top is bigger. It's bigger than the bottom or equal to or equal to. So another way we could write that is the top is greater than the bottom, right? Or we could simply say the numerator is greater than or bigger than the denominator, okay? So some examples of these would literally be the opposite of all these uh, top examples. So two over one, seven over four, 10 over three, 50 over 20, okay? As you can see, okay, as you can see, all these numbers are bigger than the bottom numbers, right? And like I said, or equal to. So what would equal to mean? So equal to, right, I should add that to the inequality also. So these, so the top is greater than or equal to the bottom. The numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. Okay, so some examples would be two over two, 15 over 15, a thousand over a thousand, okay? So if both the top and number are the exact same, these are considered improper fractions. Okay, and the other type of fraction is called a mixed number. So what's a mixed number? All right, so a mixed number, this is gonna be a combo of two things. So we have a whole number, whole number, and we also have a proper fraction. Okay, so for example, two and three fourths, three and a third, 10 and five sevenths. Okay, so we have a whole number here, we have a whole number here, we have a whole number here, right? Two, three, and 10, those are our whole numbers. And you can see we also have proper fractions, right? Three over four is our proper fraction. One over three, five over seven. Those are all proper fractions. Now, two more that I wanna quickly introduce you to, they're kind of just smaller categories, but I think they're important to point out nonetheless. So we have something called like fractions, or another way of calling them is similar. Okay, like or similar fractions, they're both the same thing. Okay, so these are just when all the denominators are the same. All the, I'm gonna abbreviate, 
denominators are the same. So what does that mean? So for example, if I had 2 over 8, 6 over 8, 15 over 8. Okay, so as you can see, the, den the denominator in all these three fractions are the same, right? They all have a, the same denominator, which is just 8. On the other hand, we also have unlike fractions or dissimilar. Dissimilar fractions, okay? And they're literally just the complete opposite of these. So this is when all the denominators are different, okay? All the denominators, denominators are different. For example, let's write the same ones. 2 over 10 and 6 over 30 and 15 over 5. So all these three fractions would be considered unlike fractions or dissimilar fractions because they all have different denominators, right? Those are all different. Okay, so now I just want to visually show you what the difference is between proper, improper, and mixed numbers because I think that's going to be really helpful. Let's say this is a pizza this time, okay? And let's say I cut it into fourths, so four equal slices. Now let's say I ate nine fourths, or nine over four, slices of pizza. How much pizza did I eat? Okay, so I cut this thing into four total equal pieces, right? So one, two, three, four. All right, where's pieces five, six, seven, eight, and nine coming from? Okay, well, I must have some other pizzas here. Right? And remember, they have to be cut in the same shape. Everything has to be the exact same size. So I'm going to make another pizza. Okay, so here's five, six, seven, and eight. But remember, I said I ate nine slices. Okay, here we got eight. So that means I need to get another pizza. Remember, all of these have to be the exact same size and shape as the first one that we started with. So here's another one, okay? So, right, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There it is. Okay, so again, so if I'm saying I ate nine fourths of a pizza, this bottom number is telling me how many parts I have in each pizza. And this is the total I ate. So again, improper fractions still look a little weird, so maybe it'll be helpful if we convert this to a mixed number. Okay, so what's a mixed number again? So a mixed number is a combination, so of a whole number and a proper fraction, right? Proper fraction. Okay, so how many whole pizzas did I eat? All right, well, I ate this whole thing, right? I ate all four slices here, so I ate this whole pizza. Here's one whole pizza. I also ate all four slices here, right? So here's another whole pizza. And then how many slices did I eat here? Well, this is split into one, two, three, four slices, right? But this is the only one I ate. So I only ate one out of four slices here. So how many whole pizzas did I eat? I ate two whole pizzas, right? I ate this whole thing and I ate this whole thing. And how many individual slices or fractions did I eat? Well, I ate one fourth of that last one, right? So we could rewrite this as two and one fourth. So can you see nine fourths is equal to two and one fourth, okay? So I hope this helped I think it's a good basic introduction to the different types of fractions, proper, improper, and mixed numbers, and kind of how they relate to each other. So in the next video, I'm going to teach you a very easy way you can convert improper fractions to mixed numbers and convert mixed numbers to improper fractions. And I promise you, it's very, very easy. So definitely check that out, and then we're going to be set up pretty well on how to add and subtract fractions. Okay, so if you've got any questions or 
suggestions, definitely leave them in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video.